Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create this simple plastic stool mold in SOLIDWORKS and we will create this core and cavity in SOLIDWORKS. So let's see how to create in SOLIDWORKS with the help of mold tool. We have 2D drawing also. Let's try to make this one. So this is your plastic tool design and we are going to create first this part then we will make a mold with the help of this part core and cavity so this is the 300 by 200 is width see here on the top corner dimension 200 300 and height is 100 millimeter but there is one draft angle 5 degree okay then uh, this corner radius we forget to mention but that is 300 r30 actually then once we create this this corner 10 millimeter radius now here in solidworks you can apply scene you can change background even though if you click manage and you can add it plain white unit also you can manage from right bottom millimeter now first operation we need to choose extruded boss base once you click it will ask you which plane so we will choose top plane now here select center rectangle if i put center rectangle see the dimension is going to appear i'll simply press 200 press tab key 300 enter see now here the option is sketch fillet let's say 30 millimeter and i'll choose whole rectangle now see all the edges applied same fillet okay cancel that's it now simply exit once you click exit it will try to extrude now here end condition keep blind and dimension 100 millimeter is height make reverse okay now draft angle draft angle is how much 5 degree but see it's going inside so click here outward draft outward okay fill it 10 millimeter upper corner now here we need to cut see 25 millimeter from top 230 and here 120 25 millimeter then there is one okay let's do this i'll choose front plane this is the center plane a sketch let me choose here line and I'll st start from this point to here, here, this point and close the geometry because for cutting we need close geometry. Okay, now you will find if you move your cursor you will find a midpoint connect to this point. Right click, okay. why we choose for reference purpose or for creating a relation, vertical construction geometry. Now this geometry at center point. Twenty five millimeter and this two hundred thirty millimeter. See, exit and simply choose extruded cut in blind condition. Keep through all both. See, it's going to cut in both sides. See, right plane a sketch line. And in the same way, I'll choose this point to here and close geometry and origin point to midpoint of the line. See, click line, create two relation vertical and construction geometry, a smart dimension. This length according to drawing 25 and the width 120 millimeters. extruded cut now here also the same thing either you can apply like this direction to separate you can define see direction one even in direction one choose through all direction two choose through all say okay it's cut 
ना हीयर थिकनेस टू मिलीमीटर मीन्स वी विल वी आर गोइंग टू यूज शेल कमांड टू मेक ए हॉलो पार्ट देन देर इज अ रिब ऑल रिब डायमेंशन फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टी ओके दस थिंग यूज शेल ना हीयर लेट्स से थिकनेस टू मिलीमीटर आई एल सेलेक्ट वन वट एवर बैक साइड पॉसिबल एजेस वी नीड टू चूज Don't choose outside, only inside. If you want to show preview, if you see, you can see the outline of in yellow color. See. Now on this top face sketch. Now here we need to create rib. I'll select center line. Now let me choose your line. Escape, press L command on keyboard, and again choose line. Escape. Now here, if I'll choose these three construction line and two lines, and click mirror entity. See, it is mirror there. In the same way, if I choose these two lines. construction and main line mirror entity see it's mirror opposite side line let me complete escape again put line escape let's define the dimension 50 mm 50 mm now see the center distance is defined but this is not going to attach this is close geometry and we are going to use rip command so no need to define or this geometry let's see how i'll choose rib here keep thickness both side 2 mm see let's see a proper view now here draft angle 1 degree outward this is very important because if you are going to make a mold it is important draft angle and but uh, see the arrow is going down so going down means up to body now see now here missed so simply edit sketch and drag it toward here exit now see now all the walls are created fillet i'll choose 10 mm and select all the edges now the beauty of this solid works you, you don't need to even the hidden line will be visible see here no need to rotate your component if i'll keep my cursor near the edge over the edge see i don't need to rotate c that's it we all the edges are this is 10 mm constant fillet we choose now our tool is created this tool is created now right click go to tabs and here click mold tools okay now we need to create a mold with the help of this so go to mold first we will choose draft analysis we will we should identify that this is perfect or not okay we will keep like this now first it is asking direction of pull so this material it's going downward because this is uh, upside uh, cavity will come and uh, sorry core core will come and bottom side will be cavity so here we need to choose direction top plane see now here select face classification 
now this yellow face see this is need drafting see requires draft other negative and positive drafts are okay so here change angle 0.25 this is uh, calculated by manually see the red and negative draft and positive draft there is no required draft say okay that's it see now undercut we don't need simply come here parting line we need to define parting line so i'll select parting line now here also we need to choose direction of pull so top plane see it's going downward angle we will draft angle same what we applied on before 0.25 draft analysis see it selected all the edges see this is going to be a parting line say okay now this is the parting line which is going to separate the core and cavity okay now the next thing we will choose parting surface we need to create a parting surface on parting line which makes different the core and cavity perpendicular to pull parting line here selected here let's say 120 or something which is going to fix your core and cavity now here sharp edges keep okay now at the top face because this is the top of line or part so we will create a sketch center rectangle and draw a rectangle from center point that's it now press 300 tab 400 enter okay go to mold exit and here we will see click tooling split now here core and cavity see core cavity part both are going to be separate now this is the dimensions we already applied in during practice so this is 130 downward 40 mm upward this is enough for this okay now click hide surface right click on parting line hide now this outer edge need draft analysis but we don't need for outer one so just uncheck draft analysis now this is the our now let me save this desktop create a new folder plastic is tool mold save now there is three bodies 1 2 3 right click save bodies now here click auto assign if you select auto assign it will select all three bodies browse and uh, we need to create assembly also and the location is same where we saved our part solid works assembly okay say yes once you save yes click yes and it will going to save save and build now let's check see here assembly came if you drop down the window menu assembly now look this is the our assembly and all the parts also created let's use exploded view select this first part take upward done select bottom cavity this is cavity done okay see this is core cavity and part is created 
this is how we create it even though if you want to right click let's save this assembly okay let me close collapse click open first part okay uh, let's assign any color i'll apply solid orange close save the upper one open part i'll apply some different color let's say yellow cancel now here for uh, now let's apply hole wizard counter bore hole now comes down here keep end condition blind the first diameter 10 40 and counter bore 20 and this one 10 position select the top face and select center point escape key and you will see the preview say ok now click save cancel now the third part is center one open and this is the center one go to appearance green save now let's apply exploded view first select the top one drag upward click done select bottom one done okay now see this is how we this is upper one is cavity and the bottom one is core and the middle one is the part is or plastic is too so this is how we created a simple core and cavity or mold in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching